Welcome back to Romany's Realm, I'm Romany and today I have a creative quickie for you. This is the carbon ink pen which a lot of people have, a lot of people love. It's a really great pen because it's got this flat piece on the lid. So when you push it, put it down, it doesn't roll about. The biggest issue with this pen that I hear almost everybody complain about is that you cannot post it. Posting for the non fountain pen users among us is putting the lid on the end of the pen. It doesn't work. So once you take the lid off, your pen no longer stops rolling about and you run the risk of losing the lid. Now, if you're an outdoor sketcher or you like to sketch in different places like I do, you lose the lids a lot. And the problem with this pen is that unlike a lot of fountain pens, if you've got normal ink in, you can just soak it overnight in, in fountain pen cleaning solution or even water if it's a water soluble ink and you can clean your nib even if it's dried out. Problem with this is that it's carbon ink and if carbon ink dries out it's a heck of a difficult thing to clean. So here's what you do. I'm going to tell you the theory and then I'm going to show you. What you do is you wrap some duct tape around this bit of the pen because if you don't it will shatter and splinter, trust me. And then you take off with a hand saw or I actually did mine with a, a, a box cutter. Uh, it took a little while and a little bit of patience but it does work because it's pretty soft plastic once you get it going. You take off five centimetres, no more, five centimetres. That is two inches for the uninitiated to the metric system. Five centimetres, two inches, that is all you take off. And then of course you remove the tape and the tape will help protect this from shattering. Now, it's not an exact science. You still have to be very careful. I was really careful with mine and I still managed to shatter it and I'll show you the results. But you can do it. If you've got something like a circular saw or an electric saw, you know, the ones that come down like that, that might work better because you'll get a faster, cleaner cut. But certainly putting tape around it helps. Now, the five centimetres seems like a lot if you use the cartridges, because if you look at how long the cartridge is, cartridge, you know, that's five centimetres, the cartridge is quite short. But if you use the refill or you might want to use the refill at some point because if you love this pen it's so much cheaper to use the carbon ink bottle and refill the refill actually comes up to about here so there's not a lot of clearance if you take five centimeters off there's not a lot of clearance and the result is this now this is quite short for a pen but for sketching pens a lot of people prefer to be able to hold their pen like that anyway so the shorter pens like the Twisbees tend to be very popular for sketches so this you can hold it nicely in your hand get a good control of the pen but better than that you can post it which not only adds a little bit of height to the pen if you want it, it also adds a little bit of grip because this is hexagonal, but it also means that when you put your pen down, it no longer rolls about. So that solves several of the problems of this pen in one go. Now, this is what you need to be careful of. This was the first one I did. And you can see there, a big chip came out of it. This side, was absolutely fine but when I got to this side I don't know if you can see that on camera but can you see that this side of the pen is actually much thinner than this side of the pen so the thick side 
cut really nicely, but when I got to the thin side, it shattered. You have to be careful of that. But if I'd taped it first, like I say, that would have stopped that happening. So there you go. If you've got one of these pens and the fact that you can't post it drives you a little insane, you can take off the five centimetres from the top of the pen and you will be able to post the pen. It does make the pen considerably shorter. However, if you take a standard ballpoint, let's take the lids off. If you take a standard ballpoint, you will see that it's actually only an inch longer than a regular ballpoint. That's why it feels so long. I believe these are actually meant for putting in a holder. You put them in a holder thing on your desk the desk pens but a lot of us like to take them out sketching because even if you drop them they don't really blot anywhere they're fantastic pens and of course the carbon ink is bulletproof so you can use it with watercolor acrylic marker anything even copics and stuff you can use it with it's fine so i now really like my short little stubby pen that I've made and I carry it in my journal and I use it all the time now instead of actually only using it when I know I'm not going to lose the lid. So there you go, hope you enjoyed that, I'll be back soon with another creative quickie.